National Training and Development Curriculum for Foster and Adoptive Parents. Effective Communication Being Parallel to Allow the Child Open Communication, Dr. Bruce Perry. These kids frequently, as we've talked about, get overwhelmed by too much nurturing, too much closeness. So what you have to be is patient while you're parallel and give them the opportunity to choose when and how to become intimate. And I think almost every parent who's driven their children anywhere has had the experience that the, the nature of the conversation that the children will engage in when they're driving in the car with you is very different than the nature of the conversation they'll have when you're sitting across the kitchen table with them. So when you, you, know, you go face to face with them and you say, how was school? They go, fine. And you say, that's it? Fine? Yep. What did you do today? Nothing. You did nothing in school? Nope. Really? You did nothing in school? I should call the school. Don't be a jerk, Dad. That's dinner conversation face to face. And then you take the same child and you drive them to a friend's house or drive them, you know, somewhere. And you'll be driving along. And of course, if you remember the whole thing about <laughs> that, that regulatory thing and they're in parallel and they start talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. And you'll hear things that you are shocked uh, about and you'll have a much more in-depth conversation than you will when it's face to face. So patient, be patient, let them come to you. And then when they do come to you, it's really important that you respect them as they have allowed you past this sort of emotional intimacy barrier. That once they tell you something, uh, resist the temptation to... Um, use too many words. So they may say something like, you know, I really hate school. So that would not be the time to go into education is your future and you really need to learn how to do all this stuff. If you're going to, that, that would not be a good choice. It might be a good choice to do some kind of what people talk about as reflective listening. Just, just repeat like, wow, you, you hate school and then wait. Let them, let them talk. Remember the power of silence. This video was funded by the Children's Bureau, Administration on Children, Youth, and Families, Administration for Children and Families, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, under grant number 90CO1134. The contents of this video are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of the Children's Bureau. National Training and Development Curriculum for Foster and Adoptive Parents. For more information, visit ntdcportal.org.